Hi and welcome back to Mike Makes It. Just very quick unboxing of a new torque wrench I've got. I had an old torque wrench here, uh, a Norbar. Bought it about 35 years ago. It was made in England. I'm sure they, well, they might still be made in England. And you can still buy the Norbar. Uh, but I've gone over to Weira, W-E-R-A. Uh, same half inch drive on the end, which is what I'm looking for. The old Norbar, um, he would go up to about 110 foot-pounds, uh, down to about 20. The new um, Weira Torque Bar, a uh, little bit, uh, not so much on the lower end, but a little bit on the higher end, goes from 30 to 146 foot-pounds, or 40 to 200 newton meters. There's old family of these. Uh, you can get bigger ones. <laughs> if you've got the old tractor at home, you may well want a large one. And there's a couple more we use as well at work, uh, which didn't really fall in my category. So I had to go ahead and buy this one, which is sort of mid-range and just about right for what I want. Uh, German made. So I'm hoping it's really, really good quality. Uh, if it's going to last 35 years, it's going to see me out. I uh, didn't go for a Norbar because I think possibly the reviews on here were a little bit better. So that's what I've gone for. Um, the, the main reason for changing this Norbar, and I would have kept it, the, the knob on the bottom, when you're trying to get up to about £110, just slides off. So the knob's broke on it. And the viewing window, there, you can just about see that. Uh, I had to surgically open that so I could read the display. Nice and clear, but not really very practical when you've got greasy hands. You're going to get some grease in there, and that's the end of the torque wrench. The little viewing window, basically over a 35-year period of time, has got obscured. So it's got cataracts. So, yeah, I'm retiring that over to the new uh, new model. So we'll get this out, have a look um, how to set it up, and give it a quick go on the truck. All right, that's out of the protective storage case, which is quite nice. So you can put, these are quite, I wouldn't say delicate, but you don't want to throw them around. So uh, I'm quite pleased it's coming in a storage case there. And there is like a baby buggy bumper on it, which is removable. It's a two-part thing. You can slide off if you don't need it or it gets in the way. But I'm going to leave that on for now. We'll see how good or bad it's going to be. Uh, hopefully it's not going to get in the way too much. It's got a, what they call, uh, we're a call this a switch. So depending on which way you're driving the half-inch drive, you flick the switch and you can drive the other way. In the manual, they say you should only torque up with a right-hand thread. I'll need to just double-check with them. I'll, I'll clarify that in the comments because it's possible you've got left-handed threaded bolts on some kits and you want to tighten them up left-hand thread-wise. And that's what that's for, I'm sure. So it might be a bit of contradictory or Mike's read it wrong. But I can't see a lot of point in having a left-hand thread turn there, basically if you can't torque up left-hand threads. Uh, you're certainly not going to use this as a breaker bar. You do not want to be doing that. But let's go over to the display. You've got at the end here, a locking tail. So I don't know if I can do this with one hand, probably not. There we go. You need to pull that out a little bit. Then this handle will turn. So you can dial in the figures you need. Now everybody over the last 35 years seems to have gone to Newton meters. You look in the Haynes manual, they do say newton meters as well. I always use pound foot pound uh, foot pounds, but it looks like I got to migrate over to newton meters because largely that's what the display is telling me. In smaller digits on the left-hand side, it is still in foot pounds. Let's just bank the camera in a position. I've got both hands, and I can show you the display here and how we adjust it. Right there we go. We release the tab on the bottom. The tab locks a handle that's to prevent you from turning it when you're actually using it so pop the end out so you can turn the handle like so the most significant figures in the display here are newton meters you could use the foot pounds but this little dial here or little window is for newton meters so you're not going to get a very good setting if you're trying to use foot pounds there we go, if you just that focus, you've got, in the big display, you've got 40 to 80, 10 newton meter increments, as you can see, so if we go to 60, that's set to 60 now, if you want 65 newton meters, carry on until you see 5 in the display below the main window, so that would be set to 65 newton meters, press the tab at the bottom, and away you go, 
Now, I actually want 65 newton meters, coincidentally, on my truck. A uh, little job I'm doing now, we can go out and just see if it works. You do also have a little button there, which is quite nice. It'll lock your socket on, so that won't become detached accidentally. So, press the button, take the socket off, press your button, socket back on. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's get these bolts done up. Just going to do a um, snug, then we'll go over to the torque setting. I have got a digital torque wrench, and that's fine. That's for a bigger poundage, or newton meters, for heaven's sake, newton meters. Um, this one just clicks, and you get um, f feedback. There you go. Click. That's the same as the gnaw bar, so I quite like the gnaw bar for that. So slowly slowly hopefully you can hear the click come through on camera and you do get uh, feedback through your hand you can feel it as well so that's all well and good but yeah it's, it's nothing groundbreaking just a new addition to the fold of my tools here and uh, different make we use we're at work as well had no problems with them so at the moment i'd recommend them nor bar's still good certainly the one i bought what the quality is like now 35 years on i couldn't tell you but yeah there's an or bar c3 switch very very good i'll put a link in the description hope you found that useful